Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems, and this is going to be an overview of Sidekick 365 CRM. This is the introduction video. Now, Sidekick 365 CRM is a solution that has a number of components. At the heart of it is a SharePoint-based app that you download from the SharePoint store, and you install it into your SharePoint environment. Most of our customers will be in SharePoint in Office 365, but we do support letting you install this into SharePoint on-premise. You just won't have some of the other capabilities I'll show on this video today. So let's concentrate on the SharePoint app to get started, then we'll go through the other elements of the solution. When you're looking here at the home page, what you're going to notice is on the left side are the main modules. We have leads, accounts, opportunities, projects, documents, etc. You can see them all listed here. And at the center of the screen, we're going to have different modules with some of the uh, highlighted items that I'm looking at that are most important to me right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at an account. So when I click on the account module uh, quick link on the left, I'm going to see a listing of all my different accounts. And if I click on ABC lock and key, it'll open up the detail view of that account. Now what you'll notice is there are a number of items that are associated with an account. These include things like opportunities, tasks, notes, documents, people, contacts, and projects. And if I look here in the middle of the page, I can see there's a number of interesting things here. There are um, sales stages that I have. So if I was to look at an opportunity, um, you'll note later on that I can assign a sales stage to an opportunity. In an account, it doesn't really make sense. I don't really have one. But I do have here the address, and I can also see the main contact associated with this particular account. In this case, it's Lyndon Bellardine. And I can also see the notes that are here, and also if there was a campaign associated with this account. How did I find this account? And that's really helpful later on if I want to do reporting. Finally, the interesting thing here is a thing called a profile. And what this does is by associating a profile with an item like an account, opportunity, or project, it automatically assigns permissions to the item itself, whether that's an account, opportunity, or project, and all of the child items, like a task and note a document. So I can say certain people can see this account and its associated items, children in this case, or not. I can make them read only or I can make them so they can edit and add items or add information to it. Let's look at an opportunity. Now we're going to see that sales stage kick in when I look at an opportunity. And in this case, I'll look at Wilson High. And we're going to dig into this a little bit more so that you see some of the related items that are similar to the items in projects and also accounts. So think of the, the big three in our system are going to be your accounts, your opportunities, and your projects. So if I look here across the top, I can see there are tasks, notes, documents, people, and projects, contacts we call them. And here's that status that I was talking about. I can also say if this is hot or not. And based on the status, it gets a probability. And that's important because that probability gets used to make a weighted value. So even though the opportunity might have a $17,000 value, it's only at 40%, so we can weight that and get accurate reports over in the dashboards, which I'll show you in a minute. This also has an account and people associated with it, the same idea. I can click here to see information about a particular person associated with an account. And I can also scroll down to see notes, items, and spread. These are very interesting. Um, right here we have um, notes that are associated with this particular opportunity. And also these are items, so we also track products. They can be either a labor or they can be things that are physical inventory items. So that we have two different things here. We have some project management and labor, and we have a couple of different kinds of locks here. I can also spread the amount of the value of this opportunity over multiple time periods for reporting. So it's often the case that it may be an opportunity that has a total value of 17,000 plus, but we're actually going to realize that over a number of different time periods. So I want my reporting to uh, reflect that. 
I won't have this all come in in one month. And that's important for cash flow projections and to see really what's going to be going on in the business. Okay, let's look over at projects. So I'm going to hit my projects tab over here. And if I do that, that's right here. And I'm going to look at my projects in the system and I can have this Wilson High locker restoration. And I can see that's associated with an opportunity. I also have ones that I can associate with an account or they can just be standalone. So an interesting thing about projects is they can be all by themselves. They can just be projects that you're working on. They can be a project associated with an account or they can be a project associated with an opportunity. In this case, I'm looking at one that's associated with the account ABC and the opportunity Wilson High. And just like over in accounts and opportunities, I also have a number of related items here. I have tasks, notes, documents, and contacts. And I can see here I have notes that I can add. If I just click here, I can say it was a phone call, but I can change these to whatever they want to be. It could be an idea. Um, you know, I'll say call Lyndon, whatever. And I can discuss whatever, blah, blah. Save that. And I could also associate items with this project. So if this is a project where I'm going to be using up different things in my inventory, or if I want to track the labor, I can do that here in the items associated with this project. And I also even have a time tracking. Uh, we haven't built this out 100%, but it's here. And if you wanted to have a day, a time, etc., to put in what you're doing on a project and start tracking that, you can do that too. So that's a lot of information about uh, opportunity accounts and a project in CRM. This is the SharePoint app. There's a bunch more things in here, but this is a good sort of overview to let us get associated with what's possible. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the Power App. So it would be great if I could take this with me on my phone and be able to edit as I was out in the field, adding notes, adding tasks, adding things into the system. And that's what this does. This is a Power App. It's free with the purchase of the app. You download, download this from App Source, And it has all the same data. It's just a mobile view. So let's go look at Accounts. And when I do that, I'm going to see that I have all my accounts listed here. This little red star means that it's hot. And if I click on the ABC lock and key, same data as before, but it's going to be in a mobile view. And when you see this running on a phone, it's really awesome. It's very fast. And you can also edit here too, just like you can on the web. So I can see my notes, my documents, my people. And I can see different uh, pictures even here on this. If I click on a person that has a picture, I think, uh, I think Abel might have a picture and Eileen has a picture. Let's see if Alfonso does. I'm not sure if he does. But if you associate pictures with these, you can also see them here. And then the opportunities. So if I wanted to see that same opportunity, I have a little shortcut here. I can just click on that. And this will take me over to the opportunity screen in the Power App for Sidekick. Same data, but in a mobile view. That is pretty awesome, right? And here's your notes, your documents, people. Same. Now, remember, you can have different people associated with an opportunity than the account, right? Different things. The spread that I showed you, and then the items that I showed you over there as well. And you can add or edit here. The other piece of this is there's a really strong dashboard, and this is Power BI. This is also free. But to share this uh, dashboard, if you, if you want to have one dashboard across your organization, then you need the Power BI Pro license. That's $10 per user per month. That's the only thing additional besides your Office 365 you're going to need, except for, of course, our um, cost of our software, which is $19.99 a month per user, or you can buy it outright for $300. So let's take a look here. Now you have your pipeline report. You've got the deals that were closed. And if I select different slicers, they call them, you'll see how all this changes on the fly. I could change it by year. I can add different things in different years. There's nothing in 2019. That's why I didn't change because we haven't closed anything yet. And if I take a look at my products, this is a fun one. And I can see here by location what I'm selling and where. So I could say, let me just see this stuff for Alan. If I click on that, you'll see it's just a couple of states. And if I click on the state, what you'll see is it'll filter based on where I click. 
I think there's just a few in Georgia. Let's add in Brad and see what else we've got here. So it looks like Brad has some things in Texas. We'll add in Amy. We'll add in Jessica. And if I scroll into the map, I can see a number of different things going on here. There looks like some sales up here in Wyoming. And I can see it all filter for me if I want to. And if I click outside, then I'm going to see them all. Very cool. And I can also see by territory, am I making it? If I want to set up territories, where am I at? Am I territory performing great or minimum not performing by month, slicers, etc. And I have sales meter set up based on fiscal years or on calendar years. And I can see how people are doing and where they're at and their sales targets on the pipeline versus closed in one. In this case, it's actually pretty close. But it looks like Alan needs to do some more work. So that's our um, Power BI dashboards. The last thing I'll show you in this video is we're going to look at the integration that we have with Outlook. We have the same integration with Excel, Word, PowerPoint. And this is the integration we have with Outlook. So the idea is that you're in Outlook and you get an important message. And if you click on the button here, you add this in, what you're going to see is we have all of our different accounts listed here and our projects. And I also have the opportunities for each account. So I think I've got one for a limousine. Let's see. Yeah, there's 731. Let's go back over here. And if I was to click here, I'll add it. But let's add this to a project. So I'll put this on the booth. And I'm going to upload that email into the documents associated with this project called Booth with ABC Spring Fling. So it takes a minute. Now while I'm doing that, I'll show you that I could create a new project right here by clicking this button. And I can put in a name, etc. And then that will show up here and I can save an email to that new project that I create. And I can do the same with my accounts and opportunities. I could say a new opportunity or a new account. And when I do that, Maybe I got an email that's going to kick off a whole new account or opportunity for us. I can put that information here, put the main contact, the opportunity, hit OK, give it a minute. And then that will show up here and I can save that email into it without having to exit, put it back. So when we go into that project, we ought to see this message here that was saved. Let's go take a look over in our Sidekick SharePoint version of this. And let's look at the projects. So I go to my projects. And I'm going to look at that ABC Booth Spring Fling and click on that. And when I hit the Documents tab, I ought to see that I have an email message that was just copied into the documents associated with this particular project a few minutes. And there it is, just about a minute ago. If I click on it, then it'll open up an email for me. And I can forward it and do whatever I want. So we also have a number of other things. There's so much to show you. There's flows and there's a lot more detail around each of these products. But this is a good overview. Just to summarize, we've got a SharePoint hosted app that you buy in AppSource. You can buy it as a subscription and it's a named user. You can reassign at any time. We've got a Power App that's free that has the same information. It's for mobile users. And we have a Power BI dashboard, a set of dashboards, that when I click on it, you can see the information. This can update automatically every day. So when you come in the morning, you can see where things are in your pipeline. How am I doing with everybody and all the sales that I'm working on? And it's super fast. Like you can see how interesting and how much fun this is to play with. You know, what am I qualified? What am I unqualified? Let's, you know, get all these guys find out everything. It's just such a powerful tool, so much fun to play with this and to see what you can build. This is just a start. You can go in and modify it as you see fit. So I hope you like this video. It's a good overview of some of the capabilities. We'll have a lot more videos with a lot more detail, but this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems signing off for now.